Hi everyone, number one Marmaduke fan here to let you know that Column is a funny, exciting, independent comic drawn in a cute chibi style set in World War III with tanks. I'm writing this review because this book is currently having an Indiegogo campaign to fund a physical printing of Volume 1. This will also help fund the production of Volume 2. I highly recommend this book. And you can actually read the digital edition of Volume 1 for free, along with bonus audio content featuring professional voice actors from the anime English dubbing industry. I will link to their Comic Central page where you can download the book and their YouTube channel where you can listen to bonus music and voice acted stories in the description below. If you are on the fence, here are my thoughts on why I think Volume 1 is such an enjoyable comic. My review has some minor spoilers for the basic plot, so consider reading the free digital edition of Volume 1 first if you don't like hearing any spoilers. Here begin the spoilers. Volume 1 opens with two civilians in the Pennsylvania Civil Defense Corps, Cadet John Hatch and Jack Arnold, attempting to escape the PLA, an invasion force wearing Communist Chinese insignia. After a friendly Hellcat tank helps them escape, they meet the tank crew, who happen to be four beautiful women. Second Lieutenant Vanessa Hunter, the exuberant Private First Class Alexis Winters, aka Lexi, the cool and brutal Corporal Kara Adams, and the incredibly calm but slightly weird Specialist McMillan. The four work together to operate the Hellcat tank as part of the U.S. Army's 13th Armored Division, which historically was one of America's armored tank divisions in World War II. If you're wondering why a defunct tank division from World War II gets brought back for World War III, don't worry. The book does a good job catching you up on the lore of the story and the strategic situation without getting you bogged down with a lot of military jargon. One of the reasons I'd highly recommend this comic is the writing of the characters' personalities. For example, Jack is a physics nerd who is still a comedic idiot on the battlefield, and his unfamiliarity with the military makes him a great viewpoint character for non-war buffs. In contrast, Hatch is a more serious person with a drive to become a soldier, but tragically limited by his health. Despite the overall fun, action-adventure comedy style the story takes, there are some serious, poignant moments. There is also good writing establishing the basic personalities of the four ladies operating that big ol' Hellcat tank. This panel on page 23 is a good example. All three respond to Lieutenant Hunter's order in a unique way. The subtle way they talk and behave helps separate all three as distinct characters. You can see Lexi is more chipper, Kara is more gruff, and McMillan is really formal and to the point. By the way, I really, really love how McMillan names her guns and talks about them like they're people. Hashtag best girl, 2019 waifu of the year. For the mature content in the book, I think it's appropriate for a war story. There are deaths, but none of them are trying to be overtly gruesome. There are some uses of the F word, but mostly in life or death situations where the swearing seems natural and realistic, not forced for the sake of being edgy and the mild, suggestive themes would barely warrant a PG rating, and they add some fun comic relief to the strategic tank and sniper battles. I think you will have an absolute kick in time with this book, and if you can't support the Indiegogo campaign, I hope you at least share it. In fact, you should definitely share this Indiegogo campaign if you would like a free video game on Steam. If you check out the page for Column's Indiegogo campaign, which will be the first link in the description below, and share it on the social media of your choice, write a comment on this video with the words, I shared the Column Indiegogo campaign. Since I'm asking you to do something special to support an independent comic team, I'm making the prize more special this time. I will choose two people to win a video game on Steam, and I will let the two winners pick their choice of game from a list of 20 game codes I have available. So, to review, share the URL for Columns Indiegogo on your preferred social media, take a screenshot of your social media post so you can prove you followed the rules if you win, and comment to let me know. I shared the Column Indiegogo campaign. You gotta do it before I pick the winner on Sunday, January 20th, 2019, because that's when the Indiegogo campaign for Column ends. So get a move on on this one. 
Also, please join a live stream tomorrow on this channel where I will be interviewing Tim Morris, the creative director and lead writer of Column, Saturday, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 9 p.m. Central Standard Time, 8 p.m. Mountain Time, 7 p.m. Pacific Time. I hope you'll join us and feel free to ask us questions in the live stream chat. With that, I'm number one Marmaduke fan. I love you guys and I'll catch you soon.